Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Got the front facing camera on so the quality is never quite as good but it is for the head shave so it picks up more of the picture and it also sometimes picks up just over there. You can see in that mirror in the background sometimes you'll pick up my head as I'm doing the back of my head. I know it's miles away, if you watch it on a 100 inch screen though it looks pretty big. Okay so, so for today I'm going to pull out this one, I was going to use it over the weekend but I'm going to use it for my head shave today and then I'll use it for my face shave over the weekend. And that is Havana. Now this is made by a company called Moonsilps.com and it is Zachary and Melody Kent over there at Moonsilps. Now this is a six ounce tub of soap. It does have rendered in-house tallow formula on the side there in this little red label. It's quite old school looking from the butcher to the barber handmade in the USA. The ingredients are coconut oil, water, palm oil, stearic acid, tallow, potassium hydroxide, mango butter, shea butter, aloe, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, glycerin and fragrance. So an excellent, excellent set of ingredients in there. Not too much happening in there. Now they do have palm oil in here so some people won't use palm oil unless it comes from a source where it's actually grown and then regrown. And it's not actually damaging the environment or ruining animals' lives, you know, that sort of stuff. But just making that aware for some people. On the side there we've got the Moon logo. This is the actual Moon Soaps logo for the website and moonsoaps.com down there. And I love the label, I think the label looks great and it sort of matches up with the brush I'm going to be using today, which is this. Now the brush for today is going to be my just acquired turn and shave, as you can see there. An absolutely stunning, stunning brush, it really is, it's a lot of heft to it as well. Milton's really knocked this one out of the park. The glitter that's running through it is beautiful, it's almost like you get that sparkly haze as you look through this clear part. You can't see it on this camera with the front facing quite as well. But you will see it when I eventually use it on my rear facing camera with a better view. But it is just an absolutely beautiful brush. It really is stunning. Twenty six mil quarter moon knot. So I'm looking forward to using this. I haven't used this twenty six mil. I've used this thirty mil. I think I had a twenty four mil in the very beginning, and it's got plenty of splay on it, and it's got quite a bit of backbone as well, which is good. So let's get stuck in. Now the scent on this soap is really fresh, it's really clean. For me it smells like there's a bit of amber in there. I have checked the, the website now to see what's in there and there's no amber in it. But there is sort of nice woodsy, powdery, clean, freshing. It's really, really nice. Now, now that I've had it here, I've opened it, closed it, opened it, closed it a few times. I can actually smell this a little bit more, but it's still sitting around about, at the moment, around about a two to a three in scent string. I like them a little bit stronger, but then again, like Bar Bar from Noble Otter, isn't a strong scented soap, but it smells beautiful. And it's complex enough that you can smell it during the whole shave. I'm just flicking out the excess from the brush and straight into the soap. Now the texture of the soap is, is quite firm. It's not like a croap, it is actually quite a firm soap, so I'm happy with that. You do get six ounces for your money, which for a lot of people means a lot to them because six ounces is obviously two ounces more than what your, your average artisan out there offers. So it's going to last a while given that it's quite a hard soap as well. Now I'll tell you straight away what this reminds me of. It reminds me of Regiment Soap. Sandalwood, believe it or not. Now, regiment soap, I'm not a fan of sandalwood, you guys know that, I don't like sandalwood at all. But regiment soap sandalwood was a very complex sort of sandalwood scent in my, to my nose anyway, and it was very, very enjoyable. Now, that is pretty much what this reminds me of. It, it is a sort of sweet, powdery, woodsy, I think, this, I think there is tobacco in here. There is a very light sort of tobacco scent from it. But like I say, it is not a super strong scent, but it is quite complex. It does remind me very, very much so of Regiment Sandalwood, which is an excellent performing soap as well. So if this performs as well as Regiment, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it will. It looks like it's loading up lovely. Yes, it's a nice scent. It really is a nice scent. It's quite light, but it's nice. Freshen. Right, let's wet the head. I 
let's get stuck in with this beautiful turn and shave brush made by Milton over in the States. Now we only shipped this, I think it was, it might even have been Saturday last week. So it's only taken pretty much five days to travel from where it is that Milton lives all the way to Western Australia, which is quite impressive. Right, so this is going to be a bit of a test for the soap straight up because as you guys know with my head shaves, if you watch the head shaves for a while, residual slickness for me is extremely important. Very, very important for a head shave. In fact, it's almost a given. If a soap doesn't have residual slickness, it doesn't get the best of reviews for head shaves. So this is a bit of a challenge for it. Now when reviewing it for a face shave, it's a different ball game for me. Residual slickness isn't really quite as key as everything else, but it's still a main feature that the soap should have. Now once again I have about, I think I've got five days growth on my head, so it's difficult to build a really voluminous lather. But as you can see just at the front here, it is starting to build up, which is nice. That is a nice scent actually. If anything I would say, it's certainly more complex than Regiment Soap, for sure. And obviously you get six ounces, it's in a nicer tub. Albeit the tub is made out of plastic, and the world seems to be going crazy about not using plastic at the moment. But in this hobby, it is probably the most used product on the planet, really. And that synthetic brushes, plastic tubs for the soaps. Resin cast handles. The thing I like about this hobby is this brush here will probably still be around and will still be getting used long after I've left the planet, I would think. It'll, be it'll have a story one day in a couple of hundred years of where it sort of started. Yeah, this soap's really nice. It's actually lathering up lovely. I'm not going to add too much more water because I don't know quite how it's going to be with the slickness. But as you can see just from the front there, it's lovely and glossy and it's building up nicely. I'll just dip again, why not? I'm in no rush. I've got a bit of time before I go to work today. I've still got a few hours before I actually start. So I thought I'd get this out of the way before the kids come home from school. I don't know if I'll be here actually for the kids coming home, but I might be. There's a chance. Oh. Well, so far, I'm really impressed with the lather building quality. This is really glossy. It's thick, it's creamy. The knot and the turning shave brush feels beautiful on the head as well. It's got just the right amount of scrub. So the brush doesn't look completely caked like it normally does, but the lather, it's got a really nice scent to it. It'll definitely be interesting to give the old school one a go as well. I might so I do them both at the same time for scent comparison because I find, personally, I don't have the best nose for scents but they don't seem a million miles apart in scent. I do know that he's working on a couple of more scents but we'll see how they go. I'm just chuffed to actually give these a go and hopefully give them a bit of a hand if it's good stuff in terms of shifting the gear. Like I say, honest reviews, whether they're free or they're paid for. Wilkinson Sword, you can't quite see that because this camera doesn't occult. occult focus. I'll just check how many shaves I've got on this. So this is the third shave on this one. Now I think that's one head shave as well. I'm not counting head shaves and face shaves anymore. I just put a dot on there for a shave. A shave's a shave. And I've got that loaded up into the Calypso R1 from above the tie. Aluminium design. Really nice knurling. The knurling is super grippy even when it's wet. Even when it's got soap on it, it's super grippy. It's a beautiful razor, I really enjoy using it. And with this blade the last time, it was silky smooth. But you can see that lather, how sort of thick and creamy that lather is. And here we go, with Moon Soaps Havana. You can see there, that has knocked that clean off. I'll tell you what, this Wilkinson sword blade didn't feel as nice on the face as the Gillette spoiler or the persona. 
But on the head, it's incredible. You can see how dense and rich and creamy that lather is. It's really, really nice lather. Now I am going to be finishing off today with Moil Grooming once again, which will be the Marlowe Wood. We'll go straight against the grain here and sort of across the grain here. We'll just scoop that a bit up. Stunning. That's a really creamy, it really is thick lather. Dense. Really nice stuff. The scent. It's not great off my head, I can't really smell it, but I can smell it in the bathroom now even, just in the water I can actually smell the scent coming up, it is nice, it's a very clean refreshing sort of scent. I don't know whether you guys can sort of see the hair, just under that ladder there, how much that is just chewing the hair off. I say chewing, it peels it off, you don't really feel it. It's a superb razor. Look at that. How thick that lather is. Now what I like about it is, I've got warm water in the sink. Just a quick shake in the sink. And it's crystal clear. There's no lather in there, no build up, nothing sticking to the razor. It's just cleaning off lovely and easy. Now I am essentially buffing against the grain here, but the razor is so smooth and it just peels through the hair. Now, if you're looking for a head shaving tutorial, if this is the first time you've come to the channel, if you head over to West Coast Shaving's Shaving Channel on YouTube, there is a channel of myself doing pretty much a, well, a quite in-depth tutorial for head shavers out there that might be just delving into this side of wet shaving and the old school way with the double-edged razors and the safety razors and anything else like that. Now obviously I am not a straight razor user, I don't use chevettes, I have tried chevettes and even though I was reasonably okay with them, I could use it, I wasn't great, they just don't give me any sort of excitement or real enjoyment like I get with a double edged razor. Now just based on that first pass, I'm pretty confident that this soap is very slick for residual slickness. But we shall soon see because I'm about to dip my hands in the water, splash a bit of water on my head and just have a bit of a rub around and then try to see what this residual slickness feels like. I don't quite require it right now because I'm going to be, well, I'm pretty much going to be going straight into the head blade now. With the next ladder, just to finish off. Oh yes, it's extremely slick. It's a really nice, uh, do you know something, the scent's really nice. I, I probably played it played it down a bit, but it's really, really nice. Do you know something, it would make a really nice cologne or a nice aftershave. Really would, it's a nice, nice scent. I mean, I've just washed and dried my hands. I can still smell it, it's really nice. Right, let's get stuck straight back in for the lather number two. Now of course the worry for me always when I get a new soap in the den 
is whether I have a reaction to it. Now luckily, very few soaps I've had a reaction to on a head, a head lather or a head shave. In fact, I can't really name any from, if I'm honest. I think K Shave works. Great Blicious is the only one I can really think of at the moment that I had a reaction to on a head shave. My head seems to deal better with reactions on my face. The turn and shave brush is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice scent. It's a very sort of manly, powdery sort of scent. If anything, I would say this one's closer to Bar Bar in terms of the scent profile. The old school's got slightly more going on in there. Right, so razor. I'm going to be using the head blade moto, the original plastic one, the moto with a little spinny ball. And I've got a six, six blade cartridge on here. Now I've used this cartridge several times and I thought it was done, but I'm just going to give it another go and see if it feels okay. I haven't used the six blade for a while. I stopped using it because I didn't think it was as good as the four or the three. But I'm just in the process of possibly buying more blades and I just want to see what I enjoy more. So straight against the grain now with the head blade, with the six blade cartridge. Using Moon Soaps Havana. Now what I do like about the six blade cartridge and the four blade cartridge is that you can actually get to the back of them to rinse them out. Which of course is a big bonus. guys can hear that but there's not much feedback and that's because that above the tie R1 Calypso has chewed through pretty much all of the hair. There's always little bits like this section here which is more of an angle thing rather than the, the razor not being good enough. Just a little bit there, I think. There we go. Like I say, a lot of this is just angles, finding what way your hair is growing. The great thing with the head blade is you don't have to worry about cutting yourself, really. I mean, I have heard people, I've actually recommended this razor to people that bought it and took chunks out of the skin, which has amazed me. Because for me, it's almost, it's near on impossible to cut yourself with. You can buff away without any real fear of irritation. Now I'm BBS already pretty much, let's just do a little bit that I'm just, I'm just wasting time getting them because I've got a little bit of time today and I'm enjoying the shave. Enjoying the soap, the soap's really slick, really impressed with the soap. 
the salt base is excellent. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. The ingredients that are in it are good ingredients. Boom, what a shave. That was super enjoyable. Pretty much a two pass shave with a residual slickness buff at the end, just using the residual slickness of the soap, which I have to commend, it's an excellent, excellent soap. And Zach, who I think Zach was the one that sort of created it, I'm not sure how much Melody, his wife, had in terms of input with the soap. I'm assuming she would have had some because of the background she's got with making all the soaps. Right, let's just get my head rinsed off. I really enjoyed that. Sometimes you have a shave that just works, it all comes together and it's excellent. And this was definitely one of those shaves. I've really enjoyed that shave today. From the brush, to the razors, to the blade, to the soap, it was just all round a great, great shave. Oh. I tell you what, you put a bit of warm water on this soap when you're rinsing it out, the smell just blows out of it. it it's, Still not a strong soap, but there's enough there, enough going on. It's, it's complex enough that you know smells it during the whole shave. Even though it was on my head, I could still smell it in the bathroom. Just giving the soap a good rinse out, as I do with any soap that I use. That's me. Give the brush a clean and rinse out. Yeah, I've just squeezed out the excess there, and it is thick, dense, creamy lather. Even the excess in the brush, excellent soap. Right, so I'm going to finish off now with some moil grooming. Let me just feel that the oh yeah, the post shave and the soap's excellent as well. So Zach, you're on an awesome product, mate. I know you knew that anyway. You did say that your product you thought was as good as anything else out there, and I have to agree. So far, just from my head shave, this is as good as pretty much anything else on the market. There's not a massive difference between Noble Otter, Barrister and Man, Face Fat, Moon Soaps, you name it, Tallow and Steel. First Canadian, do you know I could go on forever, I've tried that many soaps, lather bros, all these soaps that are out at the moment, there's not a massive amount between them, it all comes down to scent and the finer things that you notice yourself when you use them. For me, when I do a head shave, one of the finer points that I have to find is residual slickness, this has it in abundance, as do most of the soaps that I use. Now with a face shave it's not so much that, it's more, I prefer to have a voluminous lather, a really thick glossy creamy lather which I'm sure this will create when I do a face shave with a face lather but that's the sort of thing I look for that thick dense creamy sort of feel I enjoy that part of the lather the residual slickness for me on a face shave is nowhere near as required as it is for a head shave so I'm going to finish off with Moyle Grooming Marlow Wood Canadian company all these scents and everything in this bottle is made and put together by Sean Mullen over there who kindly sent me his full set a full complement of splashes and these will be used pretty much every single shave, I have to say. So I've given that a good shake. One, two, three. Three splashes in my hand. The scent would knock you out. It's so strong in scent. Just three splashes, literally three droplets. Oh, and it is like, it is like walking into an exotic wood sort of 
factory where they sell all the woods and, and make tables and chairs and stuff. There's a guy that built me a a jar of bar over here and you walk into his workshop and you just see that smell of all the different exotic woods mixed in with shapes, pine, sawdust and everything else. That's what you get with this and it it's a complex scent. The scent changes as it, as it sort of evolves on your skin. It's just outstanding and the ingredients in it are off the charts good. So you can get these from top of the chain at the moment. There is another site and I can't remember the name of it or you can head over to moilgrooming.com That's M-A-O-L grooming.com but pronounced the Irish way without an Irish accent with a Scottish accent so the soap for today was that's good the labels are definitely waterproof or water resistant whatever you want to call it Moon Soaps Havana which for me is excellent soap it's really good stuff very unknown soap maker I'd never heard of them I'd never didn't even know they existed until Zach sent me an email asking me if he could send me a couple of soaps. I'm very glad he has and I'm very glad to say it's definitely worth, so far just from a head shave, worth having in your den even if you just grab one tub of it. It is six ounces of soap which is a lot of soap. It's quite firm so it's going to last a while. And this one smells really really nice. Nice clean, powdery, fresh with a bit of sort of woodsy, ambery sort of scent through it. Might even be a bit of tobacco and things in there. It's really nice. Not a strong scent, so it's going to be good for people with sensitive skin like myself. And I've had a great shave with it, I've really enjoyed that. The brush for today was the Turn and Shave 26mm Quarter Moon Knot, which is a relatively new knot in Milton's factory or in his shop. And this handle is just absolutely beautiful. So it's got purples, greens, blues, black, pink, sort of goldy shimmer. You'll see the gold shimmer just here, that goldy creamy shimmer just shimmering. You turn it, you see it getting lighter and darker. And the handle is a sort of clear aqua blue water style, and it's just got a lovely glittery fleck all the way through. It almost looks like water with the sun haze going through the water. Really, really nice with the turn and shave coin in the bottom. Beautiful brush. Really beautiful brush. Lovely shape, lovely to hold. Above the tie, R1 Calypso, all aluminium construction, CNC machined over in America once again. And I've got a Wilkinson saw blade in here, it's a vintage blade, it was sent to me very very kindly from Martin Rowland over in Glasgow and it's a phenomenal blade, it's super smooth, it's sharp, it's efficient and it peels through here, you don't even feel it against the grain with five days growth, it just chews right through it, there's no irritation, no pulling, no tugging, it's just a phenomenal blade in this razor. And I finished off today with a razor which for me is the ultimate head shaving tool. You know, if you can't afford a DE or you don't like DE or you just can't shave your head with one, grab one of these. Seriously, do yourself a favour. If you want to shave your head every day, there is no better tool, in my opinion, on the market. Nothing is better than this little tool here. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. Some people just are so against cartridges they won't use them. I was one of them until I tried this and it blew me away. And I use it pretty much every head shave now, without fail. And I've got a six blade cartridge on there, which has been well used, I can assure you. So this is probably like its 10th plus shave on here. And it was very, very smooth, so I obviously retired it too early. I'm glad I kept it. I'm just going through the four and the six blade cartridge again just to see if I prefer it over the th two, the three blade. So other than that, sorry, I finished off with Moil Grooming Marlow Wood, which for me, post-shave, after-shave splash-wise, is pretty much as good as it gets, in my opinion. I know for a fact my skin will be super soft for the rest of the day and the rest of tomorrow and probably the next day after that. It's just so much skin food. It's incredible. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this shave. It's nearly 30 minutes long. I enjoyed it. That's the main thing. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys for the next shave. Cheers.